Hello everyone, I am DeSoto Brown, the Bishop Museum Historian, and we're here in Bishop Museum Library to talk about a new and wonderful exhibit here, Kaula Pico, The Source of Strings, and I'm here with... Kylan Reese, I'm a luthier and president of the Kalakai Center for Pacific Strings. And Kylan and I were the co-curators of this exhibit. So Kylan, get us started. What is the most amazing and wonderful revelation that people will get from this exhibit? This exhibition is a celebration of Hawaiian music. Um, we're tracing the origins of the most famous guitars in the world. The first electric guitar ever made will be in this exhibition. And we're tracing them to the, the birthplace of modern stringed culture right here in Honolulu and uh, in Hawaii. In addition to what you just said, Kylan, there are going to be some really rare pieces from Bishop Museum included in the exhibit. So, for example, an array of historic photographs, but also an ipuheke used for hula, uh, an ukeke, which is a particular type of Hawaiian instrument, and then an array of rarely seen first-generation ukulele that were made here in Hawaii right after the Portuguese immigrants brought that instrument here to the Hawaiian Islands. This exhibition uh, brings together instruments from all over the world. And uh, just like you can't hope to get the full story of Hawaiian music from any one instrument, you need the ukulele, the steel guitar, the mandolin, the banjo, the violin, all coming together to tell the story. So it is with this exhibition. We have uh, King Kalakaua's guitar from the Hulihe'e Palace on the Kona side of the Big Island. We have the first ever um, Hawaiian lap steel guitar from a collector in the continental United States. And what's special to me is the namesake of our nonprofit, Makia Kalakai. The Martin Guitar Company has recreated the very first jumbo acoustic guitar that they made for him in 1915, just for this exhibition. So when people come to the exhibit, it isn't just a matter of standing and looking at instruments or looking at photographs. There are hands-on things. You're gonna be able to play an electric steel guitar yourself to hear what sounds come out of that. But there's also going to be an entire video wall of clips of people playing and you're going to be able to hear the music that they're creating as well. The Soto, the video wall is really exciting and I'm very happy that we're featuring footage from an upcoming documentary film we're producing uh, featuring uh, people like Kavika Kahiapo playing Gabby Pahinui's old Martin guitar. Um, we have Doug Tolentino playing Ellen Prendergast's original ukulele that she very likely used to compose a song Kalana Napua. Um, all these instruments are going to be brought to life on this uh, video screen. It's, it's just fantastic to be able to hear them. You know, looking at instruments is kind of like looking at food. Eventually, you just need to taste and hear. So Kylan, I've had a personal interest for a long time in Hawaiian music. Tell me how you got involved and how you got into the career that you have now. Well, I've been honored to be a luthier here in, in uh, Hawaii for close to two decades. And luthiers are responsible for building and restoring stringed instruments. And here in Hawaii we have everything from, of course, ukulele, guitar, uh, we also have mandolins, banjos, violins, cellos, auto harps, zithers. Each of these instruments, when they come into a repair shop, they bring with it a story. The story could be as simple as, this guy sat on me at a luau, uh, I have a cracked neck, or it could be a story like, I was traveling around the world in the early 1900s with a string band playing Hawaiian music for kings and queens, uh, emperors, um, all these stories uh, that I've been very fortunate to, to hear from people and instruments uh, inspired me to found a nonprofit organization, the Kalakai Center for Pacific Strings, to celebrate this incredible legacy of influence and innovation in Hawaiian music. Okay, everybody, we want to invite you to come to Bishop Museum's Long Gallery to see Kaula Pico, the source of strings. For more information, come to bishopmuseum.org forward slash Kaula Pico to find out more. And we hope to see you at this wonderful exhibit.